for mid info and creating a cage over towards here if you want to save it. But to see that. He's we'll not see. Playing anymore. He's actually moved over to Sentinel. Right. Because I feel like that wasn't necessary. Heretics on defense, EG on like attack. Mixer, Heretics so going super aggro yes, over towards B at the beginning. Again, I'm going to kind of just slowly keep an eye on B. I don't think that these comps have like the best comps to actually just. uh going to see similar. I mean, it's going to see different game plans from at least the C9 and uh, the K crop game that I'm thinking of. In terms of, of the buy, Ghosts, Frenzy, Boostio. Again, Sheriff's are really good in pistol. Having it on your Killjoy, especially on attack, makes a lot of sense. You, you want The alarm bot becomes a little bit useless because you have the turret that can do, achieve the same thing. Um, what is this going to be like? It's a good bait for the jet. This is a full smoke, though. Holy, this is... Chat, is the audio, like, messed up? Well, although Ethan goes down in the end, like with the damage done, calm and jog ammo, it's not great. It really isn't. Like they're in a position now where these pistols on the other side can take them down so easily. They're gonna have to rely on Boostio doing a lot of work okay. on his way. Mixwell has to get one here. A little bit isolated on his own. People are low though. Side, but his teammates are on the way to help. Dude, this is, is horrible with audio like this. Hopefully it will get sorted soon. Already. Turning things back into an advantageous position. Turret down and it's literally ahead a little bit of what we're watching. The defenders are struggling to get their way back through. Not a lot of utility to play with here. As they look to try and connect any sort of shots, but they are shutting it down. Boo will at least be able we to have get it twice, one. right? But EG are there with the As start. Well. That's what they needed, kicking it off with an early bit of a retake on B long. The fact that they lose the control early, they have to fight back in. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I, I can refresh, it's not going to change anything, it's in house. And grabbing a quick double, but not necessarily because of the Yoru or anything. He ran we'll, uh, the smoke, didn't expect we'll see if they fix it for this. Left. If not, I'll, I'll mute for a little bit. Certainly not the usual round. It'll be the same on YouTube. It's the it's the way that they're um, there so early on in the round. You just it's don't their end. It's production's end, basically. This time, though, they didn't. Sounds good now. It's just because it was a replay. I'm, li I'm liking it. Like, a lot of the time, it's different uh, audio output. On an international stage before coming up, they're a little bit shy. Let's wait for this. I don't think anybody on EG is. Like they, they've got obviously the likes of BCJ who's been here many times. You go back to previous. Okay, huge pistol Ethan for them. Been on a stage more time than most. But the fact is, the other players Ethan haven't had the full most eco. experience here. Okay, no, I, okay. To a okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, are we gonna see like an attack op or something? Let me listen to the sound. Like this well. should be an even easier time for them. Yeah, just a couple of pistols on the other side. Classics all around, and that one marshal for Kellogg. Okay, yeah. He is Chad, do you want me to mute this? We'll just turn it really low. For just a little bit. Side is coming in here with shields, and they're not looking to give any long-range fights over. I mean, okay. you know, there's probably a marshal there. It's certainly not. Worth I'll do it like real that. low. I'll do it like real low, and then we'll tune in every so often. So it'll be, be like five percent. I'll just talk a lot to just cover it up. Um, okay. In terms of what Heretics are doing, they're trying to get the most out of their eco. They decide to... Uh, I think we had a knife here at the beginning. I wasn't fully watching. I was looking at the audio. But I think we had a knife here. Then we had a smoke. So big question mark created over towards here. And they're just picking up orbs over towards the breach. So we can keep an eye on uh, how much they get to do that. Again, their comp is very good on the attack at getting this orb. When you have a breach and the Astro, a lot of the times you can just uh, stun suck. And it, you pretty much just have uh, A control. You can, uh, you can throw some extra U to win there. In terms of what the Heretics comp really struggles at, dude, they're trying to play this map without a... I don't think I've ever seen people try and play this map without a uh, Sova, a Sky, or a Fade. It's very bold. You lose a lot, so I'm interested. Holy hell. I mean, that's... It's one way to make sp space for the rest of the team. It's a lot of damage here done, though. You reckon this fixed? Like that with four classics, that is yeah. a big win for Heretics. Yeah, yeah looking like it. Damage, and now the question is asked of EG of how much they actually invest into this one. Do they play this as a really heavy bonus, just try and work with pistols and the couple of... Yeah, that's the... So, again, um, what I was talking about, maybe I wait for another eco burst, see if I can quickly talk about it. So, the map's kind of changed now. Chamber isn't here, right? You can't really exploit these, uh, at least these angles really well, especially with the jet. That's the one thing that Yoru can do, though. Can play this position and TP back. So, um, Chamber actually being out of meta has changed how B is played a lot, for sure. And, again, we're seeing teams, especially C9 yesterday, kind of exploiting that um, decision. 
That's why you see the sage get picked a lot, right? Because you can wall off, have a good plan. Um, just because a, uh, just because B is a lot easier to get out of uh, these days. But this is nice from heretics as well. They don't have, again, like I talk about, B is a lot harder to hold on to on defense. So they're going very aggro. A lot of knives close here at the beginning, um, and then a lot of smokes, and then we're literally playing the double setup here. So good game plan in terms of heretics. Really heavy trying to shut down this area and just not make it easy. I want to put this here. I have a feeling that's going to have to be moved over the next round or so from Boo. Oh, so EG really invested into this. This is C9's approach as well. I wonder if this is just like an NA thing. We didn't see NRG, NRG do it. They go for full bonus, but um, two people died in that anti-eco. Oh, sorry, three people died in that anti-eco, and all three of them are bought up. So this pretty much counts as the buy round. Try and give them that little bit of extra support on this side of yeah, the map. Like right now. Definitely a lot of different approaches at the moment in terms of bonus rounds and third round. Nice trades coming in. They do lose the plant blue low HP, so very winnable, nice setup, good plant as well. So it's a heavy plant for um, art. This kill is everything. Okay. Holy hell. Crispy. This is now incredibly difficult for Bustio. Some players tagged up, but he has to hit every single shot. It was close. Not and too bad. Attempt, but Zeke survived the Good damage done, but because they've uh, because they bought into this, only two people can buy good guns on top of this. So we'll have a look into how this is uh, what their buy is going to be. But you're probably just going to see two people buy like okay guns, um, and then it's just going to be a low buy. Why is Yoru so popular? Again, Yoru is good at defending B. Like I said, like these kind of areas become playable again. Uh, I'll wait for the minimap to come back. And this is very good fast rotation. If you need to get out of choke points, you can as well. You have a flash as well, which is pretty much needed in every kind of comp. So uh, in terms of like a reliable agent for it, it's actually becoming a... Not a go-to pick, but we're seeing it way more. But yeah, it's really good for holding this area, and there's not really anyone that can hold this area. Imagine playing a jet in this area, you kind of dash to like here, and then you're caught out in the opening, you have some smokes, and then it's a bit of a waste. So um, a lot of the time it holds down B, it's very good on defense, and Yoru is always good on attack. So if you have a good game plan with it on defense, that's when you can kind of warrant using it. And uh, you're going to see, I imagine, Yoru playing loads of B um, at the beginning. Spotting that out, and we could see some early rotation. Team Heretics coach is uh, Nil Senior. Again, I used to be in a team with him uh, for two years, about what, 10 years ago, maybe? So he has a lot of knowledge. And same with his uh, assistant coach. Holy hell! <laughs> That's so nice. Brings out the shorty. We like seeing the play. It's so hard to deal with that stuff. That was really good. And the fake there, and TP's back to join them. Damn, he played this really well it also allowed them to get a plant in the open so they can play heavy after plants big round for eg here they do manage to buy full into this as well so i didn't mention that they bought full into it the two people that can have the guns do uh, but we might have a bit of a gun dip here in these jewels kellogg's again like i said is going to drop 30 probably it's just what he does the time though Oh, it's close. Actually gone already. I think it might have done. It's going to be incredible. Damn, okay, close. they actually managed to delay it. Maybe someone from Team Heretics needed to stick this a bit earlier. Still standing before the spike goes off. It's the time that was bought for EG. Not sticking it in that moment, right? I don't know. Yeah, what someone had to someone at least had to try and get half a bit earlier maybe. So yeah. The player still alive wins by Nice use of the Euro. Oh, interesting to see that they bought here. It really paid off. A little bit risky, but uh, again, NA are very... Um, definitely the NA stuff that we're seeing at the moment in terms of how much they're still loving the Stingers. Um, yeah, definitely maybe ahead in terms of everyone else overthinking the nerfs. We'll see. Definitely been paying off from what I've been seeing from a lot of the buys, so we like that. Um, but yeah, that one c probably came down to Team Heretics making a little bit of a mistake in terms of no one getting half, especially when they smoked a spike at the beginning. Heavy shut down over towards A. This is an important rebuy for them as well. So money's really low. Money's really low on everyone, so this actually becomes a swing round. Whoever loses this has to eco. Sort of two sides this Heretics roster at the moment. Right now he is on. Even though they lost that last round, he managed to get three kills with that blade storm. So yeah, big shut down over towards A. It's a good sign. It absolutely is, and starting this one off well. Look, they've got their two-man advantage. There's no need to panic. Camera watching over to double doors, trap for B long. Just a ton of control to play with. And like we said, one of the main problems here is if EG are dealing with that Sentinel utility, but in this round, they haven't just yet. And this is leaving them in a position where they're running into a stack. Again, 
just instant trade from Kellogg's. They're going to eventually find out this piece of utility. Dude, Kellogg's looks so around. clean, I'm telling you. Trying to work out if there's a way hey, to that's a really nice trip. Tripping it, and the answer is no. They're going to walk straight in. 30 seconds, stunned through from the other side as Mixor looks to try and pincer in. He'll find okay. It's a nice cleanup. So big swing round. They managed to keep four people well. alive. One person dies. On two rebuy armor. Maybe works. Mixwell's going to rebuy in terms of this, but I don't think he needs to. Uh, what is the plan from EG here? Stingers again, or are we just going for like a? We're accepting it. Should be accepting. We do have some orcs that allow them to go onto the site. It's kind of why I'm uh, at least humoring the buy. Yeah, it's not good. This round here, Kellogg's, yeah, Kellogg's is. Evolution. We're just seeing pistols out of Kellogg's EG. is great. And so the score line most likely about to be equalized, unless there's some big mistakes from the defenders. Yeah, that's the main thing. Ooh, we oh, like this, okay. Difference maker, though. We're setting up see for it. Let's see the double off drop. This might work. Time at the start as well, and now here he comes. Had a I chance Kellogg's was ready for it. Timing, but Again, Jet Mains, well. ready Kellogg's for Jet Fangs, for sure. Just that Avova almost gets caught by it anyway, so they had the right idea. This is all they really have in this round. Lockdown, I don't think Small window of opportunity there to try to get a kill. Maybe you can get towards the EG taking a main a lot of the beginnings. Whereas on the other side, you have a full purchase. They've also started to switch things up. You mentioned that trip was being constantly broken. Since that's happened, they've started moving Mixol into that exact spot to try and deny the pressure from there. And they've moved where they put the wires. So an initial read from EG was solid. Now they have to deal with what's next. And look, they're yeah, trying to figure this out to figure like out how it was being held. Now realizing that the trap had been moved, they blitz into the site. Okay, they've done here. the hard Hello part, Society's which is getting on the to the site. Though. So we're going to have a plan. It's a lot down to Yogamut. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Holy hell. Chad Kellogg's is, <laughs> Kellogg's is popping. Absolutely popping off right now. This is kind of sick. What do we got? What is nearly another ult as well. We're on the seventh rounds. 12 and 2. Just Again, chat, sure check the liquid video. Economy. I said that no matter what happens, Kellogg's is going to drop 30, and it really feels like it's going to happen. It's just, it's this just what he does. Like just that cyclical nature of the ultimates. They don't want to have that in the back pocket and risk pistols getting value. That first kill comes in, and they say, screw it. We're popping it in. We're grabbing this round, and I'll have to go back <laughs> online in not too long. Kellogg's right now, by the way. <laughs> okay, two. it's fine, stage. chat. Like, eco, though. It was like, an eco round. Let's not get too carried away. Money is starting to build up for um, heretics. And this is kind of... Dude, stage. this is the first time that Kellogg's right actually now, got an off pal. Oh. <laughs> 5 HP <laughs> manages to get out. That well, one's kind of close. Yeah. That was a really important duel going out there, though, because if Astro goes down, no smokes on the attack side can be very, very hard. So... Not a yeah. luxury that Kellogg's has on his team. So I like the looking. I didn't realize that worked there that you could look down anything. and then look up and it would cover your head. This team seems to be oh boy. Could be a good flash. Behind, they haven't made their mind up yet. This might sell it though. A quick double. Nice. And the 5 HP Kellogg's is the last man yeah, standing it's on It's a lot on Kellogg's. This brings oh, him down to 1 HP when it touches him. Doesn't matter too much. <laughs> down to 1. Shot not connected and really starting to come Rough under pressure. Rough position, they any stray exactly bullet. Where he is and he's starting to be pushed from behind. He's okay, it does get no taken down. EG having a very nice scenario. round here. Two people, the they do at least want to do damage. The the team, uh, we have do have well. Astra ult, so if they get some kills, they might decide to Astra ult again. Most teams, uh, when they have Astra ult, just pretty much just a given that they're going to play retake B these days. This is a nice fake smoke to get out the elbow. Do they know? Yes, they do. Comms come in. Oh. Very smart from Ethan. Well, Ethan it was actually his own team's uh, Molly as well, so definitely wasn't expecting a push. Very, very nice from them. Very good round from EG here. I like this. Early map control over towards door as well. Spin holding onto this kill drought for a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe we're going to be using this one soon. We'll see. Didn't need to use it this round, though, for sure. Came down to the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's cool, Chad. I didn't realize you could uh, fully cover your head at the back then. See, you learn something every day. A second before, they probably yeah. catch everyone. It's just that EG basically realized where the space was now after the trip was moved and just walked through. Because yeah. the fact, I don't even think they used the Prowler. There. Okay. I don't think they used In any terms of Econ, huge really rounds now. Kind of for both teams, but 
We're probably going to see them force this no matter what, so important jewel here for Bustio, especially as he has all. EG are doing a good job of mixing their rounds up. It's been very early mixing up. Again, this is a great camera. Absolutely Many great camera. You spot yeah, all of this, you spot all of this. Right now, it's so said, useful. Doors, but it's also allowing him to hold the B long position. This using this <laughs> okay. Quite a bit. And then so, you have that we're leaving there as Ethan. Well, Keep an eye on his TP that's going all the way spawn the as well. Maybe even the Yoru making a play, and you're gonna catch Damn, this is nice. It goes all the way to here, and now we're going to hit up A. Okay, this is all on Kellogg's. It's actually ridiculous. Uh -oh. He's behind them on A right now. The lineup is perfect. Ethan... <laughs> Dude, he gets knives out as well. Holy hell. That's insane that he's done that. He's just decimating at the moment. And now, Ethan, as you said, he was lining up. He was getting in behind. <laughs> Chad, that's incredible. I'm excited for the replay. They were banking on his flank so much. The ultimate they saw him and then... The Dude, I'm so surprised. Was it the Killjoy? Uh, I felt like they saw him and then the Killjoy wasn't ready for it. Because obviously the smoke came out and stuff, right? It wasn't Either way, really impressive. 16 to 4, Chad. Here we go. Oh, it's so nice. He's so good. He's so pumped right now. What a sick player. 16 to 4 at the moment. Yep. The 30 bomb is going to happen. Win 9 rounds in. He's 16 to 4. He is kind of dominated. Dude, and it's, and it's only 4 4. Considering this, EG's doing great. It's going to be flashbacks to when we played uh, C9 at um, Champs and Leaf was on like 16 kills in pretty much the same amount of rounds. Very similar vibes. There is no way to account for, for Kellogg's. Okay, going back to door control. So they smoke up said, you know, and then they put I'm the prowler try. here. So good pressure over towards this. We can see through this. So this camera man, actually man. sees it. So they f at least EG so. believe that they've created pressure here. Um, but as we can see that they haven't. They did shoot the camera now, so they do know about it. So that's an no important kill. Of course so it's him. No one's even come close. Already <laughs> in another round. Chat, he's dominating this game right now this holy point, hell you know, the early game plan has to be just sending him out to grab that he is on for potentially the biggest score we've seen online consistency's ridiculous now eg will eventually shut that down you, you think you hope we'll have to see two trap wires sitting or sit sitting <laughs> sitting <laughs> On this okay. Site, but again, no we still have the Astra ult, there's so like a lot of teams are going to be doing this again with Astra ult. So going close here, choice. they managed to yeah, break. They're also gonna have okay, they just see in case. So they managed to break all the trips, and they know that they have Astra ult, right? So that's why we're going to see them play heavy site, right? Kind of. A little bit worried that they were going off site. Okay, three people are now staying site. So the call came in. They do have Astra ult. We have one person watching behind that the Yoru can go help if need be with the TP, and we do have three people that are going to be playing in front of the Astra ult when it comes in. That's the Astra ult we were talking about. It's all up to these jewels. Hey, that'll do. Right? Really nice. Okay, one on one. down to one enemy left. Mixwell, the father of Valorant, now has to close this out. And let's see if he can find it. The dash. Time's pretty low. And he's just playing the clock here. It might again come down to the time. I don't think he's got it. Yeah. Damn, really nice. Jogamo, 3v1 technically, we take that, very good from EG, again just reading into it, knew the Astra ult was up, and they play over towards sides, so that was good. They put the, um, they put two ults into this as well, so this is a huge round for them to win. Yeah, that's a, it's a rough round to lose for Heretics for sure, EG did great. Again, good decision. I saw them all running away, um, and then I felt like someone overcalled and said they have Astra ult, we need to play side, so huge. Definitely, uh, definitely Jorgamo coming in with a massive one in 1v3. Uh, and I think it puts them to eco. I didn't check the money. Come up with a solution here. You're seeing that cipher utility constantly. His pal attack sided. Honestly, now that Chamber's out, yes. It is. And again, B's very easy to exploit. And also, also like, Killjoy meta makes it a little bit easy in terms of some stacking of orbs as well. So, yeah, but it's also a very default heavy map if you do feel like you can't just hit B site over and over again. So, it's a. I've, the map's grown on me. 
I still think they need some changes over towards B, but the map has grown on me. The thing I'm going to give him credit for most is his timing. He knows when to stay and when to leave, and even when to move back in again. As we mentioned, that 0.6 second failed defuse was mostly him on like 5 HP with the Stinger just causing issues in the back lines, them not knowing where he is. Bustio is the IGL. Okay, so, well, so Pause came in. The space that he's gathered we have the save gun from Mixwa in the round before, and we so buy a gun on top of it, so we can team. full buy after this. So this is the bonus down. round. Kogun has got his ult again, like trying another... Okay, well you can just see into... into play. I was going to get you can just see into art with this one. I will say, I'm, I'm looking at right now Mixwa with the gun and Kellogg's not, and that does... Very much annoying. No offense, Drop one of these guns to Kellogg's. I, I like you, but you Especially as the armor's there. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that's I, I, it's, it's definitely a hey. point that can be made here, Tom. I don't disagree with you, chat. But uh, no, no, he wants to farm up the old orbs for the rolling thunder. Especially you know, that's, when that's they're that's being so proactive. Yeah. Popping off. Or maybe he can just, yeah, he'll, he'll but here we go. They are going over was. towards where the gun is. Now, it doesn't look like he'll be doing too much. They had a camera down on B long early. That got destroyed. And now so has Boo. Okay, camera there goes the gun. And his support out of the round. And that rifle... Well, but it didn't do very much in mix while well, right? Yeah, it definitely go. didn't do much right? in, into this one. I saw a guy that actually made that in real life, even with the fish and everything. Like 3D printed, put it together. In it. No, not a real fish. Okay, no, I, I, I was like, that, that sounds no, that's cruel. dangerous. Super yeah. low <laughs> HP <laughs> into these. <laughs> Probably right, not going right. to get too much. Okay, okay. Nice shot that's a cast. I don't think I'll get too much more from this. Jorgamo again, just fragging out. Zeke's got another. Not been the best game for him so far, but he's going to try and get a rifle and potentially just get out of there hey, with he it. saved Mixwell's rifle. No, he didn't. Going out for it. I mean, look, dealing damage okay, nice here is not a terrible idea. Again, if yep. we take a look Dude, at the <laughs> if you through, take Kellogg's out of the equation, and, and admit, I would. Clean. The score Anyways, would be crazy right now. You can still do 17 to stick, 6, and they only have 4 round stamps is brutal. Ethan's having an absolute great round uh, game as well. A lot of a lot of abuse over towards B, and but again, I've been impressed also, with how much um, EG have mixed these uh, rounds up. Okay. I I we still have thinking, no way the Killjoy ult that we've probably had for, what, 4 rounds now, I think it is? Looking like this is probably where we're going to see it. This is the corner that they're looking over towards taking. Seems like he's not going to be in the right place at the right time. Early pressure. This is going to be nice so as well. Okay, Yoru so or TP over yeah, towards A if they need it as well. Prowler just cleared out all of A, and this is going to let them see where they are. Like okay, nice point, with the smokes. Shorty in play again. Nice flash from the KO though. It's gonna be an even trade. That was a really nice they managed to get onto the site. Chat, they have the Killjoy all for this. This is an unlosable round. Which they're gonna they're gonna right lose. Now, oh no. Play back into a. Let's see, they have to real. make a decision. A do we push this play. fast or do we hold back? Someone make a miss. decision. Okay, we're gonna, gonna fall back. Of it. The timer's gone. Yeah, it was they close. Just about made it out, but now the clock runs way down. They might have another star to play with here. BCJ needs to try and deny it. Okay. The spray down, not good enough. And no Very nice from Heretics. Remaining. This round goes to Heretics. It looked like EG might have had a fighting chance, though. Yeah, EG yeah, probably could have played this point, better. Right um, like but again, there was a very, in, very few important kills. I would have to watch how the Astra kind of played this, because really if you have Killjoy ult, you kind of want to play for time. So Astra, Astra in terms of suck would have been like really useful. What's their delay like? Yeah, it's okay. It was a good retake from Heretics. I, I think I do think that's a run they probably look back on VOD review and feel like they could have won this. They invested a lot of ults into it as well. Kellogg's got an important kill on um, the Killjoy as well. So yeah, we'll see. To start with, it's going to be a slow one. Finding, feeling out the map and finding that utility again. Based Garrett, thank you so much with the Prime. Two months in the slot club. Against an early fight. Look, Jorgamo again, he, he knows where the space is. Oh, this he is rough at the moment. Having issues dealing with their prowlers, but he's not gonna nice trade, though. Quick this duel's really important. Okay, Boo comes out on top as well, so looking like a 6-6, six, six, especially with Kellogg's hitting that shot. That is the spike going down as well, so full info on that. Keep an eye on the Killjoy, but Killjoy kind of has to make the next play. There's a lot of time. He saw Kellogg's run back. Still committing to this position. I mean, you got to rely on Bustio. He hasn't found that kill. I like the idea, now, at least. 
He knows there's going to be an train down. And Molly's down, thinking that they won't the go for it. Okay, nice zero. recovery Six from Heretics. At the half -time mark, we are EG had a lot of success yeah, going over towards Long B. Um, kills on the board as well for yeah. Just an Do you know what, chat? From him and I, They're kind of lucky that they got pistol as well, to be honest. 20, is, is 20 to 6. Holy hell. Of here? Like, anyone you've thought of, GB? Fellas, I'm just gonna tell you right now, that was that was fun. I enjoyed every single freaking round of that. Yep. From the Kellogg's pop-offs to the great ideas we were seeing from EG. But first, let's talk about Kellogg's because Tom He has what I said he'd do in the first half, the yeah. This is a player he's, is again, the, he's always he's gonna get 20 on every map. Team, and if he pops um, off, yeah, normally good for 30. And oh yeah. my goodness, he's popping off. I mean, we were talking about it in the pre-show. Like he's just insanely talented. Oh boy, has he just been going absolutely <laughs> ham. My guy's full fizzy soda. He's averaging a 413 ACS right now in the first half. So they're tied up 6-6. Six six, and he's dropped 20 kills already in just those 12 rounds. At one point, he was averaging two kills per round. He's going absolutely crazy in only six deaths, zero assists. If he puts his eyes on somebody, they're dead. Yeah, every time EG had a good plan, Kellogg's was set up to be in the right place at the right time yep. to miraculously get three or four kills and pull some wild rounds away. But as we look forward, let's talk about some of those plans because EG came in with something funky here. They brought that Yoru out, and I was a little doubtful since they were playing it without a Breach or a KO, but the synergy that they found with the Fade pick, I was actually really impressed with. They go into this one. This is Ethan finding his so way good. in um, with that uh, with the Seeker initially to take back sight, and then you're going to Yeah, see a lot of big rounds rounds where players had, like, teams invested a few ults and lost a few rounds, right? I can remember one that was pretty big for Heretics and one that was pretty big for EG, so... Definitely a few rounds that I felt like both teams could have won. Yes, coaches can talk in halftime. At least when I was around, you could MC, are you still here? Yes. Just confirm it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is these days as well. At least every land that I went to, it's... Um, it's literally until pistol round goes yeah, I, I live and the barriers go down, you can talk. So in champ select everything like that. Half time if he continues in your timeouts. Manner, watch out, EG. It yeah. is gonna be a okay. barn burner, MC confirmed it as well, so it's still the same. Way to wake up in the morning, so yeah, baby. Talking I'm in half time. Let's send it back over to the casters. Well, it sure has been an exciting first half. It's not often you see a player go 20 and 6. And it's even at the half. That's uh. Yeah. That's Did Liquid win anything while I was coach? Um, nothing <laughs> worth <laughs> talking about. about it. We didn't no, win it. We didn't win a Masters or a Champs. So the I easy answer to that is no. When it comes to that Yoru pick, because defensively, I don't really honest, count anything else time, if I'm track. fully honest. So yes. I hope they have some ideas. Yeah, it was a good first half, but now this is where the challenge comes in. Flash used as a support for his teammates and for actually Holy double peeking around. Effectively turning this into a two lane fight, double peeking them down and leaving EG in a four versus three versus okay. one. <laughs> Just relax a little bit. <laughs> Round wasn't one, but it's okay. Good from them. Looking like a double pistol. Those odds could quickly turn into his favor. He's got time. Uh, that's the only real thing on his side at this point. Yeah, this the one's very hard to win. On the side, we got one cage area. to play around with. I think he's more wary of somebody coming in on the flank, but he still has his cam available if he wants to use it to try and find out pieces of information there's also the turret on short towards art so it, it, he's not going to be able to get too much information going in that direction either and now with all three players from eg set up stacked up ready home to grounds play. nah i don't think even 100 yeah, feet will cost that even I'd with their one of him i'm not sure depends how they have already swung them and just tried to headshot probably would have headshot them all boo goes back gets his camera gets his utility he waits for it to know, be people back do online, so people view different figure things. out where they are okay didn't get him a ton of information <laughs> but it's worth they using maybe they went back to eight <laughs> this is a nightmare so <laughs> absolute nightmare how are you getting out of this one Unfortunately, the three players hold Damn, they actually didn't make it as clean as I thought. Maybe a little window. Maybe a little window. Not Bingle, thank you so much. He's a smart player. Yeah, yeah, Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. I don't With the think prime, appreciate it.
back no, on. No, 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 no. He, he's like a world-class pilot on a sinking ship. It's not much use, really. So, yeah. chat, double but pistol way, going to EG. The if EG they lose this map, we can... Well, green, I'm not sure we can I safely say that they were the worst team, because... The <laughs> this is definitely something that we have to consider into it but double pistol still worth talking about heretics get a marshal out over towards Kellogg so chance for him to do some more sat back you have basically no utility that's going to help you that is true you know for eg at this point again look how hard it is to just hold me at the moment it's just crazy they initially locked it in, they had a cipher on their rosters, yeah. oh, that would have been wild. Like the DRX the game, bag, so much B. The C9 really game, so much B. This Down game as well, in terms of what was successful, B. Um... <laughs> okay, almost on for it. You ra honestly, you rarely kind of see a triple with a frenzy in one round, but in terms of like one round of the magazine. Okay, they clean it up, only Ethan goes down, so pretty nice eco from them. Ethan one away from his ult as well, so we can keep a uh, eye on that important round for... Wait, so Ethan doesn't buy up now, right? I'm, trying, I'm still trying to work out um, how they approach their buys. Goblin. Okay. Oh, hey, I see what you're doing, Vansili. Sure, I'll do it. I'll I'll go in for it. Vansili has gifted Goblin into the Slug Club. Go on, chat. Do you think? Obviously, we've got the Brazilian games coming. You lot pop off. The arena's already starting to pack out. I'm enjoying. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for that, Vansili. Okay. <laughs> Important buy round for them. Uh, let's see, Ethan. Okay, so they do drop the gun over towards Ethan. It's interesting. NA definitely have a different approach to all the other teams at the moment. We did see what I was talking about in terms of Euro at the beginning, playing these kind of areas. Um, and again, it just means that you have more... It just means that uh, you can kind of punish the B stuff a little bit harder with the Euro. So creates pressure in terms of these areas, means that you have to use the U2 in terms of uh, what we've got on their team. Wait, they don't even have anything to clear out here. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard for them to get out this corner, in theory. Okay, huge kill from Avova. Drogomo decides to go a bit aggro on his own, trying to get information. But again, that kind of makes sense at the 50-second mark if you realize that no one... Uh, let me talk about it after. I'll talk about the reactions in a sec. 97 fish. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Now diminishing any advantage that was there, but Kellogg's lurking through the back lines. This should be for free. An easy kill to turn it back into a 3v3 scenario. Important Jewel might get killed by the breach. He finds oh. Another, drops the spike on oh, the 1-2. The the so nice. Good cross. Okay, chat, 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 chat. EG has very good what reactions just from this round at the moment. Good understanding of, of the game in general. Okay, so it got to like, sorry, let's say the map in general. It gets to the 50 second mark. That's when teams decide. 50 seconds, 45 seconds, especially on this map when it's like long rotations. It's kind of where you have to have made your call by. Um, no one really goes like, like this over to towards sight, so a lot of the time, of course we have to come right now. He's in astral form. I'll draw it in a sec. He's not got a ton of time to sell that. This was really nice. This kill was everything. I hope, I hope he's not going to tell <laughs> I'm just trying to explain Drogomo's uh, push. So 50 second mark, Drogomo decides to push over twice. <laughs> so many replays. Let's have a look. Okay. Please, I need this to call to the minimap. Chat, I'm going to talk over this. I apologize if there's a crazy eco round. So basically what happens at 50 second mark, if you want to hit a site, majority of the time you're going to go like this, say it's the A site for example. So if you push on the outskirts and you see no one here, right, if he pushed and saw no one here, then they can heavy rotate over towards B because no one's going to hit A like this. No team's mad enough to go all the way through R with five people and hit team uh, and hit sites like this. So the reaction to push like this, although it looked a little bit like a risk to us, it's kind of risk reward in terms of you see no one in this area once the push, pretty much know that it's a B because everyone's going to try and split B like that, right? So 50 second mark pushing the outskirts is uh, it's a good thing to do, is basically what I'm saying. And also holding on to the A, um, and holding on to A main is very important, like we saw, right? They come out flooding out of here, you have A main, this crossfire is insanely strong. So just trying to explain why Jorgamo pushed. Not really possible. Yeah, it's a little uh, different sure. for Ethan with the Let way he's able so. to set himself up and yeah. the utility he's got, the barrage of players that come with okay. it. And Odin, your OTP is so here. I don't know when it's going to fade. Yeah, when it comes to Kellogg's, it's much Here's an eco. Stacking orbs kind of over towards Zeke, was that? I think. Oh, oh that's, a nice oh, that's a nice flash. That's a nice flash lineup. 
Okay, and now everyone can kind of fight and protect the gun. So this is good as well. Everyone knows. Don't want to give them the gun. That's why they're fighting so heavy. Keep an eye on the time. Huge. It wasn't the person we were watching, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. It's doable. Oh! Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. They win the thrifty. They hit a lot of deeg shots. Nice one on two in the end. Had a chance hit the all important shot. You think it's just going to be a slaughter. They have 20 seconds to run into the site. The site is currently... Quart, thank you so much. Welcome into the Slug Club with the Prime. Appreciate you. In. Then you even have the fact that the Odin manages to find a couple of kills as well. Ridiculous. Yeah, so much pressure on this one. One chance into it. Looked real calm. That's one of the people that I highlighted that kind of had to perform as well for this team to win. So that's a good sign for them. Okay, we now have Breach or uh, Chat. I think it's going to be swing around in terms of Econ. Let me just quickly highlight it. Yeah, so uh, that's Ko picking up the orb as well. So huge round. Four people on both teams can't buy. We use double ult into this one. That was real nice. There's a good flash on top of this as well. Speaking of flashes, gets him another one. They're still... It's still doable because the KO is down at the moment. Okay, it's technically a 2 on 2. They do get the res out, so now it's 2 on 3. Holy hell. We can jump on top of this, so... My... Be tempted to go for that. Oh my god, what am I watching? <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> very hard. Very, very hard for EG. Good decision. Again, swing round. They have no money if they lose this. They realize this situation is too hard for us to win. We have to save these guns into the next round because the three players with them aren't going to be able to buy too much on top of this. We're in such a lovely spot. Um, let's think. Their loss bonus is 2-4. Uh, well, so they, they get 2-4 the on top of this. So they can have they can have an okay buy. We can have, if they want to buy into it, it has three guns and two stingers. So yeah. Nice round from Team Heretics. Good understanding of how important the round was, right? Real important rounds. Big swing round. Push them over towards Eco if they can get the knock guns out of their hands and stuff like that. So... The last couple of rounds have been anything they use four ults to secure it. Absolutely right decision. It's a good round from them. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a nice hit. Nice pathing. You can dash all the way out there and get around the corner. That's cool. That's a very nice hit. I know he's a lot of ults into that, but the actual hit itself, a little bit like Ascent-esque in terms of getting behind that. Okay, so that's the saved op that we see. We have two guns like I talked about. They do go for the full buy. Two, uh, two lower guns in terms of Stinger, Spectre. Yeah, the thing is the purchase here again. It's not amazing. Who's going to be able to create a lot of pressure? Could cage this if he wanted to go for a luck. There we go. That's fine. Wait, did they just walk through art? How is Mixwell here so early? Oh, that's a huge kill. That's the op down. Okay, Fadal goes out. Just hit two of them. So at least information goes in that pushes them back. They see the Prowler on, like, you see it through the wall. You see that they fall, fell back. So using the Prowler after, always worth. They get info. They, because they were falling back, they feel like they could go B. This is a good decision to go group over towards A. 40 seconds. Yeah, it's a little bit weak at the moment. They might. Team Heretics made a good call for this one. There's a nice Prowler as well to go back. Knife goes in, they know that one's pit or close. Yeah, BCJ's fine with that, just goes past him. Damn, where was that Yoru flash from? Damn. Chad, I didn't even see the Yoru flash, but it was incredible. Really nice. Good rotation as well. As soon as the knife hit, rotation came in, so that was very good. Dude, that... Uh, we heard the flash from Ethan, I, chat, again, I didn't see it, but it was great. Problem is, you miss that utility. 
because you're in a ton of trouble. Such and a it's, tiny, tiny it's little spot. Yeah, they probably, probably felt like pit was clear because of the aftershock. I'm not entirely sure, but right at least when he did it, he should have known that at least that wasn't available. Like, that wasn't even hit. Sorry. At such a crucial moment as well. Another important round in terms of swing round here, so we're back into it in terms of the important rounds. Want to use alt into this if we have them. We do have BCJ's alt, so... Okay, this is interesting as well. Like I said, a lot of teams like to play retake on B, but what they're doing is they're trying to play this off angle with the Yoro against them, and you can do a lot. Try and punish them, because most teams will go over towards B and then try and play sight a bit heavier. So this is nice, kind of trying to play off the tendencies of pretty much how every team plays this map at the moment when there's an Astra ult. So I like that from EG. A little bit as the rest of the team is still sort of pushing those rotations. I'm also looking at Ethan's deep control. He can very easily TP back into the site if needed. Okay, so EG are kind of making up for them not you know, having a prowler a or uh, here is just given it away. Like they are the Scythe is making a lot more sense now. It kind of it's their like it's their way of getting information out of B. Yeah, so yeah, really nice from Ethan. Does kill in the off angle that we were talking about that again was like super prevalent with Chamber, not so much anymore, but can be used with your own. Okay, managed to shut him down as well. Don't let him get started on the attack side. Okay, very nice. Team Heretics have to eco this. So, big round, that might have just sealed it. Solid, solid hold as well. And as you said, a nasty little setup to almost bait them into believing some of those spots were clear. Bustio playing fantastically around his own utility as well, just to give him those little edges when it comes to taking the fights on the angles and giving that extra <laughs> to Ethan, who is having a worldly of a game. By the way, he is one kill behind Kellogg's, who is basically ruling the server in the first half. You can see the morale <laughs> certainly high here for EG. Potter that feeling good after the play. I'll be honest with you, I, I think they could be losing this 10-0, yeah. and Potter would still be smiling. Potter is that, always though. smiling. That's what you need. And with this team especially, you know, it's just a bunch of jolly chaps over on EG. They've got big smiles on their face with two rounds left to go to close this out, facing up against what should be an anti The Yoru, the Yoru's been doing bits, to be honest with you. Not a whole lot of promises. No. I mean, I, even thinking of Heretic's ult economy, it's not like that's coming online anytime soon either. I mean, they need a lot to bail them out of this. Kellogg's. I don't know what his actual score is, but... Judge. That's what I'm looking at. 22 wow. to 13, yeah, yeah it felt <laughs> that's pretty an high. interesting idea. So hold on. Oh no, Heretic's have given Kellogg's I like a judge. Him. Think about it. Do you know what? Team Heretics are actually kind of getting owned with the Yoru, especially especially over towards B. Like that was a big round for it to have impact. Nothing to clear out this area, get an important kill. They never have to worry about this because they're full info. It's cool. The flash as well, yeah, the flash is doing great. It's like the only flash in their comp, so it has to happen. I like the EG comp, to be honest. I don't know, but what will happen if they do decide to go to A is they'll have a lot of problems. There's three players sitting here, and again, we've seen the same setup from EG in the pistol round. Yoru flash okay, so support, looking like and the other two players are peaking down, a 12 a turning this into two. This is a nice little setup. They have a lot of setups for this stuff, a lot of like flash lineups, which is pretty cool. Dude, we might actually see the flash lineup. Keep an eye on Kellogg's with the attack judge. Um, Jokomo should be pretty good. So basically, it's this. This takes this was the idea for uh, contact, then the, the flash, then the swings. It off for so, play. Com's going to hopefully now, get a kill, so then everything comes in. Attackers, yeah, it's so nice. You take the angle as the flash goes off. Really good setup. Very, very cool. Long, just shutting down any hope for Heretics here. Boo was lurking. Now he's the last man standing in a 1v4 stinger in hand. He's managed to sneak by them, but BCJ... Well, I, I think he should be aware that the support Yoru, yeah. Them, Honestly, but they're not accounting for it just if yet. I take no out what oh, the angle, <laughs> <laughs> they're expecting to at least be aware of it. That's why I you checked know, right. Finger, it's not what it used to be. Let's just oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Four chances to close That's this one out. Yep. Yep. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. From the other perspective, at least. No, this, oh no, that's the first bit. This is early. It's coming. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't show it. Yeah, very nice setup. Oh my god. 
I love it. Is this what morning games are like? And that's the good thing um, about the Killjoy as well. So four chances. The good thing about the Killjoy is you can lock down two areas like this, so you can do setups like that. There were some comps that I was talking about the other day. Uh, I can't remember who it was that was using Viper, where I said, like, on defense, it's a little bit weak everywhere because you can't really heavy shut down the situation because they didn't have a Sentinel. So, again, that's that kind of setup that we see there is kind of what the Killjoy allows you. You can hold two spots, so you don't have to one hold one person holding the other so then you can three pass and punish towards any of these any of like these areas so it's just something that the killjoy allows you to do heretics have not defaulted enough though against the killjoy in my opinion not enough pressure over towards door for sure the problem is they just don't have anything to get them out of door like i do i do think the team heretics comp has a bit of a fundamental issue by not having a um prowler or a drone or anything like that like it's very hard for them to get out of door it's kind of hard for them to get over towards b at the beginning so i'm not normally one to harp on about comps but this definitely does have um some weaknesses for sure the cam does work, but then you're, you you can only get a cam for one of these, and when the cam gets shot, then what you do is damn, this is nice. This is something similar that you saw 100 Thieves do ages ago, where they would literally just smoke this off and just spam. Okay, this one's doable. Huge 2v2. Keep an eye on the kill drone. They are aware of this. If Boostio gets this kill, all is going down in it. It can be a weird round. Was at least starting to move out. Well, all goes in. Com has to know that they're probably going to be pushing after this, so should be checking behind at one point. Yeah, does check behind. Good awareness. Wait, he's in it. Oh no, he's in it. Just relying, just relying on Avova to not go down here. And that is it. That's how we ended. Uh, he was so convinced that his team right? would be able to survive. The defuse yeah, gonna go that's how we ended. Damn. So. Very nice from EG. Honestly, honestly, Kellogg's tried his best. Um, but yeah, Could I do be. think right to, out, out of all the games well, we've seen, this is probably the game where I'd be the, the most critical EG. against the comp. Because I do think playing Pearl without a Sova or a Sky or a, um, a Fade, yeah, you're playing on hard mode in my opinion.